be doing a little bit of work to this Briggs rebuild. Not that you think it needs it, but just to check before we get the whole thing together. Uh, today we are going to be uh, sanding the top of the block and the head over there to make sure that they are machined as flat as possible. And to do that, we're going to use a flat piece of wood. We're going to use some sticky back sandpaper. And we learned this trick from Carol Fixes All. He rebuilt the Briggs flathead. So we are going to uh, use one of these sanding discs, uh, preferably not a really coarse one. Uh, we got two forty. It might be a little cheap on. There's one twenty should be good enough. There's one eighty. Yeah. One eighty should be machine us pretty close to as fine green as we want. this up later had to order those from Amazon I could not find them in any stores all right uh, to keep this doesn't look like it's gonna move a whole lot on us uh, we use some uh, I can't identify it but it's really fine grain sandpaper we just kind of went over this went over this and made sure we were flat and smooth no bump we are good About dust free we'll stick this on here I would stick it to my workbench like he did in his video but I have so many things to do on this workbench that sticking things to it is not something I want to get in the habit of doing really good back in it. Very hard to start with. I think I got it though. Maybe. Oh there we go. Let's make sure we get the other side. There we go. Started. Got the back off. We're going to stick this on this board, kind of from this end and over, making sure we don't get all right. Nice and flat. Probably a week. Uh, I'm trying to change the socket at nice. All right, so now that we have our Trusty, uh, well, yeah, they'll be long enough to get this where it doesn't shift on us. We'll put one in one corner if we can get it without that one. Nice and secure now. There we go. And we're just gonna kind of stick it in motion like that, making sure it stays flat. Alright, let's see how we're doing. 
on levelness. And as you can see, I don't know how well you can see how overexposed that is. There it goes. And you can see we've got more scratching on the outside. And this right here is kind of deeper. It's not being affected yet. We want this all to be the same level. So we have a little bit of bow in the head. We'll do this a little while longer. getting better yeah you can see we've only got a little bit right here and a little bit over here and here and the rest of it's all right make good progress today That is pretty good. We got a little bit more on what looks like the exhaust port, bigger one, a little more right there. But you know, other than that, another another couple minutes. That should be good. We can move on to the the head. Yeah, that looks absolutely wonderful. Nice and shiny and good. All right, so that's the custom machining we learned from Terrell. That back over here. Now we will do our valve cover slash whatever's head. Do that. It's flat. I'll see this one, as you can see, this side here is not getting as sanded as. Well, as the rest, so I think a little bit more. But I'm glad I did this because you know, I'm putting this back together for the first time, I want to make sure everything is nice. So we got rid of whatever was on this end. We still got a little bit left here uh, to go down to level that. Just a little bit. It's getting there. good oh yeah look at that yeah so I want to thank Terrell from Terrell fixes all for that tip and that advice and I can take this off and put it on the shelf Now we have 
something we can resurface blocks with. All right. Let me tell you a little story about this mudder uh, that we're working on here. Uh, we found, we were actually out looking for a mower and we ended up finding some go-karts on the side of the road for sale and we couldn't say no. Uh, so part of the deal was they threw in about three or four uh, five Briggs motors along with it and uh, none of them ran, none of them started, which is to be expected. They were thrown in for free, so they probably didn't want to mess with them anymore. Uh, that being the case, uh, we ended up getting black there, uh, redone. Uh, the steering was stuck on it. We ended up getting that done. Had a roll cage as part of it up there. Um, slapped a new motor on the back. Of course, it's Predator 212. Back when they were $100, I think some people remember that. Uh, slapped some new tires all the way around. Uh, pretty much cleaned it up, greased up real good. I ran it for the next couple of years. I got new uh, bearings. I got another video out where I put new brakes on it. Uh, gluing them on the old brakes, which, you know, if it's not cheaper, it's not that important. It, it's just something to do, you know, it handy. It might not save us money. This is blue. This is our very first yard cart. It's a one-wheel spinner. You can see it's not got a live axle. This is our fun doing donuts in the yard uh, cart. So yeah, we end up getting those motors. Uh, this is the original one that came on blue. Um, and then of course, uh, we replaced it with the Predator 212 that's sitting on black now and then bought a brand new uh, 212 for blue. And in case you're wondering, the one sitting on black, first one we bought is a Hemi and the one on blue is a non-Hemi. I wanted to be able to compare the motors and I'm sure a lot of you viewers caught that. Uh, we have a uh, Raptor 3 down there in the stuff you can't see. Uh, hard finding parts for that. You can probably see that on the yard back there. Was attempting that rebuild. Found it hard to get parts. This motor still has a serial number on it, so it's easier to get parts for it. Figured it's a good starting point. Uh, plus, the reason why this took about a year is because I had to get all the tools to specifically work on motors, especially small motors, torque wrenches, and measuring devices for the rings, uh, uh, next video we're going to be redoing the valves on this, and then we're going to give it a nice soapy water wash. And then we're going to do a partial reassembly until we get our new gaskets and bushings in. Um, which will probably be... Uh, see, this, this head gasket is still in pretty good shape. So we're going to reuse that. Uh, we will probably get the valves put in. And get the heads... Get the head put back on. And the valve springs put back in. And retainers. Um, and then that will probably be it until we go get the rest of the parts. So until then, um, you know, stay tuned for the valve, uh, reconditioning. I know these are in pretty good shape, but I do want to make sure that we're going to be sealed and there's not going to be anything mechanically wrong with the motor is what I hope. So. Uh, we were also going to do a governor delete on this because it wasn't hooked up to begin with. It was kind of falling apart inside the motor when it tore it apart. I thought I could get all the levers, arms, linkages, and things for the throttle to get it all put back together. But that's going to run me, oh, like $89, $90 to get all those little parts. And since somebody felt it good to take them off and not put them back on i'm gonna follow suit i don't care if it blows up i don't want to put that much money into a free motor 
But the goal is to get the flathead. I got another one sitting outside full of water that's been locked up since we got it. Uh, it's going to be the next project if it's got a serial number on it. If not, then that one will be the next project motor. Uh, and those will come off. And I will start getting stage one and stage two kits for those. Also making a video for that. So thank you for watching. And stay tuned for the next video where we redo the valve. Um, and then we get to wash this block one last time uh, before it gets reassembled. So, I mean, it's already been washed about five or six times and oiled and rewashed and oiled and rewashed. And uh, after the valve job is going to be finally the last time it gets done. So, uh, this motor's been out in a part for a year. I sure hope the next motor uh, goes a lot quicker. And thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more videos. This is Compton's shenanigans, and currently the weather is terrible, so our shenanigans are in the garage or in the house. Uh, when the weather improves, you'll be with us when we go on some trips. So stay tuned, and uh, thanks for watching. A lot of things we wish we could have done before we hit record, but you know, it is what it is. I don't think it's going to go anywhere, even if it does, a big, big deal. So, we were going to take the block and we were going to sand the block just like this. Well, it is going to move, it is going to move. Uh, a little bit did absolutely nothing worried about the grit.